Hello everyone, my name is Jay Mauter and welcome back to another edition of Deep Dive. Today we're in Woodpecker's other model shop and we're going to take a closer look at the Clamping Squares Plus and the new Clamping Squares Plus Mini. Alright, let's get started. Okay, so for this first example, let's take a look at some plywood and let's say you're trying to throw a cabinet together just real quick with some pocket holes. So we all know that pocket holes can drift on you whenever you're putting them in. And so let's say we want to put the edge right where that line is right there. So we can use a square and bring it up to the line. And then we bring our piece over. And the next thing you could do would be to clamp it down, but it is going to be very wobbly and unsecure and I don't think it's going to go very well. Instead, I like to use these to give me an extra set of hands and make things a little more secure. So to get started with these, we can just plop them in right there and tighten that down. And now this piece can move freely and we don't have to worry about it tipping and whatnot. So now that we got our CSP on, all we got to do is bring our 1281 over to the line where we want the edge of our plywood to go. And we can butt that up right there. And all we got to do is slide it up, make sure it's flush. Once we get it flush, we can add in our other CSP right down here. And tighten it up. And I'm going to go ahead and throw another CSP over here as well. And now it's all locked up and secured perfectly at 90 degrees and we got the edge right on our mark, right where we want it. So I went ahead and added some clamps up top right here just to make sure this piece doesn't shift when we screw it in. But the good thing about these CSP clamps versus other clamps is that they're very small so they leave enough room for you to be able to get your drill in to secure your pocket hole. So now let's take a look at the CSP minis and see why you're going to want to use these even on your larger cabinet projects. So for our original Clamping Squares Plus, these legs measure just six and three quarters. So for this opening, it works fine. It's doing its job. It's all good. But we have a smaller opening up here and you would do something like this for maybe a nightstand, let's say. And you obviously, you cannot fit it in that space. And so your next thought might be, well, you can clamp from the outside here um, and it'll fit in just fine. In fact, let's go ahead and do that real quick. So these fit around here just fine and they're keeping the cabinet square. But where you're going to run into some issues is if you want to apply some clamping pressure right here, you're not going to be able to clamp right at this joint because the CSP is in the way. You also aren't going to be able to add any fasteners, brad nail screws, whatever you may need. So instead of the larger clamping square plus, we're going to switch to the CSP Mini. And the legs on this only measure three inches. So you can fit this into some pretty tight spaces. So now with the CSP Mini in here, keeping everything square, you have room to add clamps, fasteners, or whatever you may need. So if you're anything like me, you like to build projects of all sizes, big cabinets or smaller keepsake boxes. Uh, here's a box that I made. It's a tea box. It is wonderful. I love it. But when I went to make this tea box and I went to glue it up, I had a tough time keeping it square. Of course, I would have liked to use this, but it's too big. So now we have our CSP minis and I got a little tea box uh, in the stages of being made. And this just fits in here perfectly. So if we just add one to each corner, we can know that this is gonna be perfectly square. And keep everything at 90 degrees while we add some clamps. So this tea box is a pretty small project, but your projects may even get smaller and smaller. And this, 
uh, is in the making. It's a little catch-all tray where you can put your keys or extra coins and whatnot. So the inside dimensions of this little guy is four inches by four inches. And these CSP minis fit in there just perfectly, really. I also really like how thin of material this can really work on. Uh, you can clamp material as little as a quarter inch thick with these CSP minis. And that's all it takes. You're good to go. Your tiniest projects are clamped up at a perfect 90 degrees. So for storage solutions for the Clamping Squares Plus and the Clamping Squares Mini, we actually have three different options for you. So if you already have this whole system and you don't want any more clamps, we made a mini racket that fits just for CSP Minis. Now if you'd like a set of clamps to go along with your new CSP Minis, you can order the original racket and the CSP Minis fit on there just as well. And the third option is the CSP Mini Racket ties directly into the original racket and you can hang them together if you'd like. Well, that about wraps it up, guys. Thanks so much for joining me on the deep dive on the CSPs. Uh, Jeff, he's still here. Don't worry about it. He'll be here next week. But as a thank you for you guys still sticking around with me to the end, uh, I wanted to give away a full set of the Clamping Squares Plus Minis, uh, the original racket, and eight of the clamps. And so to enter to win one of these, I just want you guys to comment below, where's Jeff? I think he'll get a kick out of it. He doesn't even know I'm doing this. So thanks so much for watching. If you haven't yet, subscribe to our channel, hit the notification bell. If you wanna learn more about the Clamping Squares Plus Mini, the product video is right over here, and the link to order is directly below in the description box. Thanks so much for joining me on this week's deep dive, and we'll see you next time.